video because you're trying to figure out the most illegal Minecraft tricks out there. I get it. Listen, these are 100% and yes, they do work. First, I'm gonna need you to subscribe to the YouTube algorithm. Let's get a whopping four likes on this video and make sure you watch till the end to see every single illegal Minecraft trick. It's top secret. Yo, that better not be the FBI here because we are in bedrock and pocket edition. Now, the first one is for all y'all Minecraft bedrock and pocket edition players. I know, I know. Y'all are obviously better than Java, right? <laughs> so we're just gonna set up a redstone clock real quick. All right. So just like this, make sure everything is completely connected together and make sure you connect this correctly like this. All right, cool. So now that we have our, our redstone clock set up here with our piston, let's make sure everything is lined up correctly. I don't know why I broke that. <laughs> Apparently this glitch still works. So we're just gonna put a slab right over on this side. So every single time it pushes forward, it's gonna extend out just like this, okay? Now it's supposed to glitch everything out. So we're gonna put a piglin inside of a glass box. Boom, there's our piglin. And all we gotta do is drop a bunch of gold ingots right over here. So we're gonna take this, drop it right in front of him. And now we gotta run this redstone clock. So just like this, okay, here we go. Oh, oh, it's going. Wait, yo, it's working. Wait, why? This is crazy. Are you serious? Is it that easy to speed run in bedrock edition? How is the block changing? It looks like it's changing into a quartz block. Bro, that was ridiculous. That has to be one of the quickest ways to trade with piglets. Yo, Dream, I'm coming for your speed runs, bro. Did you see that? You can't top that. <laughs> we're gonna try one more time. This time we're gonna stack up even more gold. Let's get a bunch of nuggets. I need tons and tons. Okay, here we go. Drop them all on top of the slab. It has to be on top of the slab. We're even gonna put down a couple more piglins here. So let me just kind of slide it. Oh, bro, that's the wrong one. Get out of here. Bang. All right, almost got it. Almost got it going. It's kind of tough. Oh, yes, there we go. All right, so plenty of piglins. Drop it on top of the slab. There we go. And then flick this on real quick. Oh, it's going. Look at this. Yo, that's ridiculous, bro, what? So I guess the best way to set this up is to have a hopper here. Make sure everything goes inside of a hopper and then it actually drops down. Wow, that's it. That was six stacks of gold almost, bro. So all we need is a hopper over here and then connect this hopper to a chest. So just set up like a double-sided chest here, okay? And then make sure everything goes inside the chest. And that's gonna make this Minecraft trick even better. Ta-da! All right, moment of truth, boys. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's working, it's working, this is crazy. And it's all going inside the hopper. Which is then leading inside. Oh, wait, are they throwing it at me? Why are y'all throwing it at me? No, don't, don't throw it at me, please. No, don't do it. Dude, the hopper can't keep up. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna keep adding hoppers. There we go. Perfect. Just put it, make sure it all connects together. How about that? There we go. Perfect. Awesome. So let it keep going, let it keep collecting things, and it should be good to go. You can probably put a hopper also underneath the slab, and that's gonna connect to the chest. And that should also work. I'm pretty sure that 99% of you know exactly what a sponge does. Now, there's two ways to use a sponge. Simply, just drain the water. Boom. Now, if you take an actual dried sponge and you just throw it in the lava, it disappears. So, don't do that. <laughs> do not try this at home. But if you put a flint and steel on top of it, does it actually make it dry? I don't know. Does it work? I don't think so. Did it dry it up? It looks the same. So what if we put it underneath it? We'll dry it up. Okay, no. So the best way to obviously dry a sponge is to put it inside of a furnace. Yes, it's going to be your best solution. Just put it in here, put a piece of coal, and just simply like this, dry your wet sponge. Ta-da! If we go inside of the nether really quickly and we bring our wet sponges with us, just simply place down your wet sponge on the floor and it will instantly dry it. Yo, how cool is this? So if you're gonna be farming the, you know, ocean monument and all that kind of fancy things, boom, instantly can dry your sponges, collect them, and be on the go. The easiest way to make an infinite water source, dig out four blocks, put a block over here, put the water right on top, and then we just need a piece of kelp. Make sure you put a kelp on the right side and the left side, and then remove the water you placed down, and it should be an infinite water source. I bet you didn't know that. Now, the third Minecraft trick is how to get a haircut in Minecraft. Nah, I'm just kidding. Yo, what y'all think about my fresh cut? I like it, cut, G. And the brand new skin, and the brand new profile pic, and the brand new banner. I'm pretty sure y'all seen it. It's pretty funny, you gotta admit. <laughs> all right, let's get serious. So the next Minecraft trick, uh, we got ourselves a house here. So all we're gonna be doing is a two by two setup, just like this. So simply keep going. Make sure you go three blocks down as well, and put this all around your Minecraft house. Now let me know if it works in bedrock condition or pocket condition. Just simply comment down below. There we go. And we gotta go down by three blocks. So one two and three there we go it's three blocks total keep digging this out now place your lava right here just like this just fill it up with lava lots and lots of lava once you've done that just simply place down trapdoors right over here 
all around your house. So make sure you surround it, all right? And then we're gonna make the corners also connect. And do the same thing on the opposite side, just like this. Make sure they are separated and not connected. So only connect these together. So it should look something like this. And once it is officially nighttime, there's gonna be a bunch of zombies that will spawn around you. Now to avoid a zombie from killing you, all you guys do is go to your house. It's, it's just simple as that. So watch, follow me zombies. And they're all gonna slowly fall into the lava without a problem. This is the easiest way to defeat a horde of zombies. Now, if you wanna go back, just simply connect it together and walk across your beautiful bridge. Pretty cool Minecraft trick. Let's make things a little more complex and build an anvil cannon. Have you ever heard of an anvil cannon? You probably have no idea what that is. Let me show you real quick. First, we gotta run the redstone wiring to be perfectly on point. So just like in the video, we gotta match it to be the exact same. So it was like this, all right? Then you have one block over here. Get rid of these. So it should look like this. Now we need two sticky pistons over here. Or actually one sticky piston with a slime block, all right? And then we need a slime block right over here on top of a sticky piston. And then a dispenser right here. Now connect the redstone. Put the redstone torches over on this side and this side. Same for this corner, boom. And then you need a button right here. So when you hit this button, it actually like drops the uh, slime block, as you can see. And finish it off with a redstone torch over on here. Ooh, it works. Oh, there we go. There we go. Perfect. And all we need is a piece of anvil right here. Just one anvil. That's all you need. And it goes, yay. Oh, look at this. Now, if you can actually pull off this troll on your friend, you will be legendary for the rest of your life. Can we do it with two? I don't think it works with two. Oh, it kind of worked. It kind of worked with two. What if we stack it up even more? I think this should be a pretty good amount. <laughs> oh, it's doing it. It's slowly doing it. Wait. Did it just launch to the nether? <laughs> Try that out, ready? Yay! Oh! Wow, I didn't know that. If a if an anvil touches the nether portal, it apparently breaks. How does that make any sense? Minecraft logic. Just like the YouTube algorithm, just doesn't make any sense. Yo, speaking of the algorithm, y'all been crushing that Moose Army fan love. Yo, thank you so much. You guys are crazy, man. We're about to hit 5 million subs. We've seen this one many times. Now, this is actually the simplest way to simply hide your items. It's really, really easy. Let's put down a piece of rail, all right? And then we're going to take a minecart with a chest. And we're going to just push it forward just a little bit. There we go. Now, break this block. And we're going to put down a regular piston. Activate the redstone. Oh, wait. You know what? I just made a mistake. We need an actual wall over here <laughs> that's a little bit better just picture it as being like your actual house so once again the same exact thing we're just gonna push it forward a little bit just like this and we're gonna correct it together easy break this block and put back your oak plank just push it slightly forward all right come on it's really tedious but trust me it's gonna be worth it if you want to hide all your secret items there we go so it should slightly extend out from the wall just like this here we go push it a little bit more forward oh that was a little too much wait a minute there we go awesome all you gotta do is just simply conceal it with a piston, boom, and push it down. There we go. Now, as you can see, it's gonna turn completely black here, but you guys should put a cauldron right here. Just push the cauldron forward, or you can actually put the cauldron from the top just like this. This also works as well. And then we can put the oak planks right on top. Put your water back down here. There we go. And you should be able to access your chest right over here. So that right there is a secret diamond stash. Put all your diamonds in here and you're going to be loaded for the rest of your life. And you don't have to worry about your friends stealing your diamonds. They'll never be able to find it. All we got to do is just kind of make it look a little bit better. Just put like a crafting table. That's it. There you go. Now you can't even see it. Ta-da! Did you know that you can actually dye your horse armor? Yeah, it's exactly what it sounds like. Now, we just need a water bucket. Just simply dip all your dyes inside the water, and it'll change the color of the water, and you just gotta put your actual horse armor in there. Now, in uh, Java Edition, we just gotta grab a crafting table, and just simply do this. There we go. It's just simple as that. How easy is this, bro? And if we tame a horse and we put the actual armor on him, can you can you please be my friend? I want, I want you to be my best friend. I'm gonna call you Betsy the Horse. What? Come on, you like the name? How about Rachel? That's it. Okay, fine. No, no, Rachel. What about Lucy? Lucy the horse. Nope. How about Loki the horse? You know what? You'll be now Bob. Bob the horse. Yes, it worked. Perfect. All right, buddy. And check it out. My boy's balling on a budget. He got yellow horse armor. That's pretty cool. And we can do any color we want. I've never had a pink horse before. I think that'd be a really good addition to the game. Yes. Why not have a pink horse? horse yes my friend you know what bob you are gonna be gorgeous i love it have you ever wanted to have your very own village and breed your own villagers no 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 that, that well no just, just keep watching the video <laughs> this is the official way on how to make a villager breeding farm we're gonna start by building up by four blocks up just like this cobblestone four blocks up then we need some glass perfect and then a cobblestone with a dispenser right over here 
facing this way and then more glass perfect even more glass as usual we're pretty much making a giant circle for the villagers to live inside of forever that's it and that will do it perfect place down a cobblestone about two blocks up just like this and then put down a trapdoor on the bottom perfect and then we need water right underneath add two composters on both sides let's actually go up by one more block so this way the villagers can't escape and we're gonna also move the composter blocks a little bit higher up put down your villager perfect let's build out a cobblestone path over here on both sides there we go and almost done we should have a total of five beds so one two three four five and same for the opposite side now underneath the villagers we're gonna put down a dispenser there we go so let's get rid of this and fill this up with a bunch of bread and all we need is a lever and here is your small ladder going up to the actual breeder or the dispenser and right next to the dispenser we can put down a rail here's your powered rail with a bunch of other rails on top and then put down a bunch of my cars inside of the dispenser and as you breed your villagers it's going to keep on dropping the bread they're going to make some babies and they're just going to end up over here now if we want to make some improvements we can actually get rid of the water stream and put it in this corner so this way it pushes all the villagers to this section over here once the villager is in the corner after breeding we can just hit a button on the dispenser and pull them out Oh, it works. There we go. Ta-da. Now that you've figured out my illegal Minecraft tricks, click this video right here. You're not going to want to miss it.